Speaker, sir, I rise to support the motion of thanks to the governor's address and to make my maiden speech in this August House. Her Excellency Sri Dr. Mridula Sina, the Honorable Governor of Goa, has put forth the vision of this government in its right letter and spirit on the 29th of January 2019. This government is working for all sections of the society, women, children, youth, entrepreneurs, farmers, worksmen alike. Under a young and dynamic leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister, Dr. Pramod Savant, we are moving forward in the right direction. Eradicating unemployment, giving more stress on skill development is the priority of this government. The DDSY scheme has been replicated on the national levels as Ayushman Bharat for affordable healthcare facilities to the poor and middle class. We are taking great strides in the health sector with the developments like super speciality block at GMC and empowerment of primary health centers. High importance is placed on the comprehensive development of tourism and towards beautification and restoration works at various beaches, forts, archaeological sites. Safety of tourists is also of high priority through installation of CCTV cameras around villages of Kalangut, Vagator, and Anjuna. The Swachh Bharat Nital Goe Abhiyan has been effectively implemented across the state and is instrumental in spreading awareness of cleanliness. And the government of Goa is committed to making Goa open defecation free by the 2nd of October, 2019. Solid waste management across the street through the state of the art plant at Saligaon. And this government is committed to expanding their operations at Bangini and Kakora with the capacity to treat 250 tons of garbage. The 36 national games that will take place in Goa in November will provide great exposure to budding sports persons and youth. Sports infrastructure will provide support at grassroots level. Local guest houses, hotels, restaurants, taxi drivers, and other hospitality services to support the influx of visiting sports persons and officials. Our infrastructure is growing at par with other big states in India. And GSIDC has been a fundamental part in the same. And I am honored to be personally vested in this process. The planned development of the state and my constituency is of great importance to me. Many big ticket projects are set to be inaugurated over the next few months. Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji is standing rock solid with our state in carrying forward the motto of Sabka Saath, Sabka Vikas. As I am the youngest MLA in the house, I seek to support all the good initiatives of this government and I request my senior colleagues to help me learn the procedures of this August House. With this, I support the Governor's address. As there is no business before the House, the House is adjourned till Wednesday, the 17th July 2019 at 11.30 a.m.